Hey y'all, what's going on? It's Athena Amoeba coming at you with a Goodwill haul. If this whole general area looks lumpy, I'm sorry, I'm wearing like a lacy bra. Don't judge me with this like weird strap. Don't judge me. <laughs> okay, um, basically I feel like I don't have a lot of options when it comes to clothes that I wear. Now I know that there's people out there who have probably have less clothing. I should be thankful for what I have and I am. But at the same time, I literally wear the exact same things every single week. Every single week I wear the same things. And while that's not necessarily bad, my clothes get worn out easily. Um, and then I don't feel as put together because my clothes are more tattered and worn. So I'm like, you know what? If I just hit up Goodwill every so often, I will have much more clothes to choose from. So I went to Goodwill and this is what I found. First item of clothing I found was a extra, extra large kind of like farm flannel shirt. How I will probably wear this is open, so not closed, um, but I'll probably wear it open with a tank, like tank top underneath or spaghetti strap underneath. And you can see that here. Of course, I'm gonna wash these first, so that's actually what I'm gonna do right now is put this in the washer. But this is the first thing that I found for $6.99. So I won't know if I'm going to keep these items until after I get to try them on, which will be after I wash them. So, so present me doesn't know that, but future me can tell you the results. The next item I found was a Midriff shirt. It's in a size medium and it's from Forever 21 and I thought it was cute and I can wear it under different things and I can just wear it around the house because it's like, you know, it gets really hot. So something just to wear around the house. I mean, I'm starting to just walk around more naked, which is the ultimate form of freedom. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, I just thought this would be, if I don't feel comfortable wearing it out, it's something I could definitely wear at home and I thought it was cute. And this was $3.99. Found this uh, and I thought it was just a nice another casual shirt. Can't have too many tank tops when you live in California. It says that the size is large, but I'm like, is this a child's large? Because this does not look large to me. <laughs> Maybe it's stretchy. I don't know. We'll find out when I put it on. So bought this for $4.99, five bucks. Next, we actually have a shirt that I got because it reminded me of the shirt that I'm currently wearing. And this is a size large and I got this for $3.99. So four bucks. Okay, just two more items. Now this was the most expensive item that I found, but I really liked it. I'm not sure if it's a kid's article of clothing, uh, but check this out. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And you know, I am a sucker for Halloween. I'm ready, I am so ready for Halloween. So, you know, I had to get this and I would wear this, I would wear this year round. I would wear this like all fall and winter because <laughs> um, it's long sleeve, it's a size small. Uh, but it looks like it will fit me. I was concerned about the size of the sleeves and my arms fitting in there, but we'll see when I try it on. Yeah, see how inconsistent sizes are? Like some of the larges look small and some of the smalls look large. So like, I don't really know what's going on, but we're just gonna try it on and see if it fits because that's all we can do. So I got this one, again, most expensive item. Uh, $12.99, $12.99 for this one. The last item I got is actually not for me, it's actually to flip. Uh, I wanna start flipping. I saw this and I thought, whoa, this is pretty cool. So this is a skirt, okay? This is a Batman skirt uh, and actually got it from, oh my gosh, it's new. Anyways, somebody bought it, didn't even wear it, so it's brand new, the tag's still on it. Um, or if they did wear it, they didn't take the tag off. <laughs> and it's a size small skirt, so way too small for me, but if you love Batman, and if you can cram yourself into a size small skirt, and if you want this, let me know in the comments below because I am gonna be 
flipping this uh, in the future, but for now I'm gonna wash it. And uh, I, I'll tell you this much, I got this for less than $6. <laughs> less than, you know what? No, you know what? I wanna be very transparent with you guys and open and honest. So I got it for, I got this for $5.99. $5.99. Yeah, it's up for grabs. So if you want it, let me know in the comments below. Of course, you're gonna have to pay for it. <laughs> but I'll, we'll work all that out, okay? I got six items of clothing for less than 40 bucks, which if you go anywhere, if you go to like Target, Walmart, maybe online you can get a similar deal, but it's hard to come by this. Going to thrift store is the best way to get a affordable clothing. Now that being said, I do understand that um, not it's not easy for everyone to find clothing at Goodwill, myself included. Um, I mean, shirts, I my body is like a unique shape. So my tops, I can wear, you know, more normal sizes, but my bottoms, like your average size pants don't fit me. I have to get mine from Torrid. Torrid has the best pants for me personally, and I'm not trying to like push them, but you know, their pants work for me, they fit me good, they have sizes that fit me. <clears throat> Your average department store, it's a hit or miss. Sometimes I could squeeze myself into their uh, biggest size, but um, not always. So bottoms and dresses are harder for me to find at Goodwill, but tops, it's, it's easy for me to find. So I do understand that not everybody has an easy time finding clothes at Goodwill, but this was my experience for this one random haul that I did, and um, it's pretty good, you know? It's a good deal. Six items of clothing for less than 40 bucks, and I'm gonna flip one of those things. So, I hope this video was fun for you guys. I hope this inspires you to go check out your local thrift store, see what you can find. And until next time, I'm sending you so much love.